I'm an artist, you're an artist. Hey there, we're here at the Columbia Museum of Art. And today we're gonna to be using our senses and our minds to look at things in the natural world. So artists, just like scientists, like to look at the world around them and capture what they see. They make observations, they look really closely at things. Sometimes artists go outside to sketch or paint directly from nature. Do you ever go outside to sketch? Or maybe you look up at the clouds and see what they look like. Maybe you take a look at bugs that you see or you notice the veins on the backside of a leaf. Well, artists do all of those things too. And artists and scientists are all about making observations. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I want us to start by taking a look around this gallery. And as we look around the room, notice what do you think these works of art have in common? We're gonna make some observations. So what do these works of art have in common? So you probably noticed that a lot of the works in this gallery show us the world outside. And there's a special word that we use for works of art like that. Do you know what it is? It's called a landscape. So landscape is a compound word. That means it's two parts of a word put together. And scape just means a view, right? Uh, something that you see. And land, of course, is what you're seeing. In a landscape, you're seeing the world outside and you're usually seeing the land. Now, what do you think we would call a work of art that showed us the sea? Well, we'd call that a seascape because it's a view of the sea. So in this case, we have a landscape. And what I want us to do is just like a scientist might do, I want us to make some observations about this piece. So I want you to look really closely, look at all of the details that you can see, and I want you to just make some observations. What kinds of things do you notice about this work of art? All right, so hopefully you noticed some things in the details that the artist put in this piece, but here are some of the things that I think a scientist might notice. So a scientist might look at the clouds here. They might wonder what types of clouds those are, and they might be able to identify them and tell us about the weather based on those clouds and the shapes and the colors that they are. They might notice this part of the tree up here that doesn't have any leaves on it, and maybe they'd be able to tell us something about that. Maybe that part of the tree is dying. They might notice all of those little birds perched on the tree branch and some that are flying away. Maybe they would be able to tell us something about what kinds of birds those might be or what they're doing. They might also notice the soil down here. Maybe scientists would be able to tell us if the soil is sandy or not. I think it looks kind of sandy. They also might wonder about what impact people have had on this landscape. So we can see there's a person in the foreground here we can see there's a little tiny person and it looks like maybe a house or some kind of structure back here. Maybe there's a farm. So scientists might also be curious about the impact that people have had on this landscape. But they might be able to tell us something about this habitat in general, maybe what kinds of plants these are in the foreground, what kind of vegetation we're seeing. So scientists could tell us all of those things maybe. But another thing that scientists do is they make inferences. And an inference is basically just a guess, but it's a guess that's based on evidence. So in this case, it's gonna be based on something we can see. So we're gonna make an inference about what season we think it might be. So what season do you think it is in this painting? And remember, because we're making an inference, we have to back it up with evidence. So I want you to tell me what season do you think it is and why? What do you see that makes you say that? So I think maybe it's spring or summer in this painting. And I'm saying that because I noticed a couple of things when I was making my observations. I noticed there's leaves on a lot of these trees, right? They have nice green leaves. I don't see any yellow or orange leaves, which might tell me it's autumn. And I don't see any trees that are totally bare, which might say it's probably winter. So I think it's maybe spring or summer. I've also noticed this person here in the boat it looks like he's wearing short pants and he's just relaxing, enjoying the weather. So it seems like it's a little bit warm. It doesn't, doesn't look like it's chilly or cold in this scene. So that's what's making me think maybe it's spring or summer. What do you think? <laughs> 